Hello lovers, here we go again at Studio Live. I want to give a big old shout out to our wonderful friend out there, Boston Kitty Cat, otherwise known as BKK. As some of you may already realize, BKK is now under attack, under siege, by Beatrice. Uh, you know, the middle-aged supposed man that is known to roll up all in the daily lady drama, go after and harass, bully, and target, um... Uh, women preferably single women trans women women of a particular size i think as it pertains to females he really doesn't discriminate although he does seem to shy away from any woman with a uh, let's say, say a capable husband or a partner but bkk you know you have the support of many uh not that you need it because like me and like so many others we don't really act according to who is backing us or who is out there supporting us we act we move and behave on our own accord we will never have to be the type of people that have to align ourselves with enemies or former enemies simply because we know full well that we could not possibly stand alone in our own stench as i often say a box full of dry pens will never be able to stand again. A single pen filled with ink. And still, somehow, through Beatrice's uh, most recent attacks on you, BKK, uh, Beatrice still found time to bring me into the mix. Insisting I have no original content, well, I mean, I will concede, there is very little original about my content when compared well with his laser kitty tag oh no why that's never been seen here on youtube or perhaps going on camera and showcasing her canned green beans my 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 yes now that is content to salivate for so yes bkk all through his threats all through his threats for you to back off stay in your own lane be a good little follower, not a leader, if you know what's good for you. All through that, he still has to be able to say, I know things about Mallory that I'm not even sharing. I'm the nice guy. I'm being the nice guy. Well, let me tell you this. Nice guys don't behave that way. Nice guys don't find, air quotes, dirt, as they may think while waving it like a red piece of meat over a lion's den. Well, to that I would say this. If you have such informative intel on me, I would tell you to go ahead and drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Because I assure you, I don't live in secrecy, darling. You will never have anything to hold over my head. In fact, if you do happen to have some information that I didn't share with you directly, don't take it as secrecy, but do take it as none of your goddamn business. So the truth is, I would be less concerned with what you think you know, and far more concerned with what or whom gave you the information, as it pertains, as you say, why I don't work. Well, by all means, Mr. Man, the ball is in your court. I fear absolutely nothing you have to contribute to the table. You are but a weak little person with a very small mind trying so desperately to fit in to the bad girls club. You have shouted to so many people such as myself, now including B BKK, to give it up. That's like asking a pro athlete to give up the ball so that the inadequate player forever sitting on the bench may have a chance to shine. Well, Benjamin, that's never going to happen. So I would actually encourage you to continue to riding the filthy coattails of Dirty Brown. And she will be able to take you as far as she's ever been and as far as she's ever going to be, which is right here at the bottom of YouTube. Oh, and Beatrice, as for my condescending attitude, or my sense of entitlement, or my overblown ego. Well, I can say this factually. None of those things are a problem for me. None of those things are a problem for those who adore me, 
love me, surround me with fanfare, or enjoy listening to an honest gal of 50 putting the hammer down again, again, and again. It's what I do. It's practically what I live for. Now, BKK, know this. You have more people standing with you, behind you, and around you than you will ever know. People get, understand, and are attracted to your Bostonian attitude. It's raw, unfiltered, unedited. And that is incredibly difficult to find here in these parts of YouTube. Now I'm going to say something and I'm going to also take the liberty on behalf of BKK. So what I am going to be saying is going for her as well and other people like us. If you don't like our content, stay away. If the level of our confidence offends you in any way, stay away. If the way I, we choose to make a living offends you, bothers you, causes you to lose sleep at night, stay away. If after watching our amazing content, listening to our thoughts, uh, witnessing our expression, if these things cause you to feel an instant urge to go on the attack, to fire up a hate stream, to fire up a video, whatever it may do in a derogatory fashion, I would say to you, stay away. If the tone of our voice is simply going to cause a vein to explode in your nostrils, I would say to you, once again, stay away. I find it very difficult, for example, that someone like me could cause an individual or individuals so much displeasure in life, yet there they are at every turn, at every YouTube mile marker, in every comment section, critiquing, complaining, shaming, every video that I do, every live stream that I put out. Why? It's as if they're my number one fans suffering from a severe case of dyslexia. So again, Beatrice, please, for all of us, go enjoy your canned green beans, your baby grand's biscuits. In other words, enjoy your edibles.